Welcome to a lesson on how to use PyTorch to build your first classification model. In this class, we're going to uh, demonstrate how you can use some of the knowledge that you might have from, say, scikit-learn and transfer it to PyTorch to build your very first deep learning models. So to start off with, let's go ahead and build some models in um, scikit-learn. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the IRS starter set and we're just going to use uh, Stochastic Gradient Descent Classifier, which is basically a logistic regression. So to start off with, let's just load our data set. Um, and I'm going to use the IRS starter set. Equals true. All right. And let's have a look at our data set to start off with. And... Then what we're going to do is we're going to create our classifier. So let's create our model, which is our um, SGD classifier. And I'm just going to make the loss equals log for now. So we just get pro our probability. Right. And then from here, all we need to do in scikit-learn is fit.xy. Fit xy. Okay. And then um, we can do our prediction and calculate the log loss or the accuracy score. Uh, if we wish, and you'll just look like this. So, um, so this will be our logistic regression accuracy, right. and this will be accuracy score of y, and it will be model dot predict x. Okay, and same thing here. Let's do our log loss and our log loss will be uh, our predict proper hopefully this works and there we go we have our log loss and our prediction so we've done all of this in three lines of code now, how much effort is it to do it in PyTorch? So in PyTorch, it is a little bit more um, effort, but, but uh, PyTorch Lightning does make it a little bit easier. And you do have a somewhat uh, simple interface if you are familiar with scikit-learn as well. So to start off with, I'm just going to throw in a whole bunch of imports. Okay. Um, so we're going to import um, a bunch of uh, PyTorch modules, which is our uh, neural network layers, um, our data loaders, which I'll um, talk about briefly, uh, as well as our optimizers. Uh, we're also going to um, use PyTorch Lightning to um, make it easier to train. All right. Um, also, because of some uh, semantic differences in terms of how uh, PyTorch handles its categorical variables and in its training and prediction phase, we're also going to use um, a one-hot encoding from scikit-learn in order to transform our um, Y labels into a one-hot encoding matrix. Okay, and I'm also going to use some NumPy in case we need to have a look at things. All right, so let's build out up our um, logistic regression example in PyTorch. So I'm going to call a class model and we're just going to use um, PyLightning, right, which is our PL, and I'm going to call a lightning module. And um, from here, let's just define the layers that we need. So in this case, um, the layers that we're going to define, if it's just a logistic re regression, is just our inputs um, and our input size, or the, is, it will just be one layer where the input size is the number of features and the output size is the number of classes. So um, we're going to just have one layer. Uh, so I'm just gonna call this layer uh, where it is going to be of of the size our um, iris data set how big is it it's of size there's four features 
so four, and we have, um, I believe, three classes. So let's let's verify that. So um, is it y unique? No, set y will be three, right? Of size three. Okay. So that 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 will be the layer that we're that we need to train. So the next step is we need to um, define what happens when we put through the forward step. So let's do this as define forward self x, and from here on we just uh, run the model through as expected. X is equal to self dot layer um, as we've defined. So the input of four features, the output will be three features, okay? And then afterwards, we need to transform it in a way that can be uh, trained on by the uh, particular loss function. Um, so what we're going to do is because we want to output probabilities, let's just use torch.log softmax. Dim one, return x, so then this will output some probability labels for us. So this will be other labels. Okay, so there we have our definition of our logistic regression. The next thing that we're going to, going to need to do is we're going to need to define how um, this model gets trained. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to define a data loader and um, also our optimizer and also what it's going to do at each training step. So in, in Torch Lightning, how you do that is you do train data loader. And um, our data loader is going to be our, uh, we're going to load our IRS data set dynamically. So um, return x, y. And uh, we're going to create our tensors. And we're going to transform this into a tensor rather. So um, we can use tensor data set and we're going to uh, convert what we have from a numpy data set so it will be our our x as we've done defined here and we're going to um, cast this as a float and we're also going to do from numpy y all right and then from here we can just run our data loader for our iris tensor and we can select our batch size. I'm just going to make it an arbitrary number of, let's say, um, let's say 32. Just randomly picked from thin air. Okay. Now the what we're going to what we want to do is we want to define our optimizer. I'm going to use Adam um, um, for no particular reason. You can insert your favorite optimizer here, like stochastic gradient descent, if you so desire self.parameters so this will be the parameters of our neural network and I'm going to select the learning rate to be um, again a randomly chosen number 0.001 now the last thing that we need to do as part of PyTorch Lightning is to um, define what our training step does so let's do this training step self batch and our batch index so um, we have our uh, incoming batch from our data loader and our batch index, what do we want to do with it? Um, in this case, what we want to do is, well, firstly, we want to get our x, y from our batch. And then um, let's get our logits that come from our um, model itself, right? Uh, so this will be our self.forward when we call our model. And then let's calculate our loss, which is from our negative log likelihood loss of logits and y. And then we can return our loss. And yeah, we're going to return our loss, which is, and this is for logging purposes. All right. So we've defined our whole model, so let's, let's just try running all this, see whether it loads. So that's that's the um, that's our scikit-learn version. And let's try to run this. Um, 
So I'm going to call this PL model, so PyTorch Lightning model, give this our model. And then all we need to do, because everything has been now defined, is so let's call our trainer max epochs equals, let's say, let's make it 10. It may not result in a particularly good model, but let's just run with it for now. And we're going to just use our trainer fit on our PyTorch Lightning model. Okay, so let's see what happens. There we go. Um, so it's run. And maybe I'll make this a bit longer so that you are convinced that it's doing something useful. Okay. So then the last step is really just to uh, demonstrate that this works as we intended, right? And so that we have a benchmark of the performance from our PyTorch model versus our scikit-learn model. So I've already loaded our um, XNLY, so this is where we start using a one-hot encoding. So one-hot encoder. Uh, I don't want to make it sparse. So um, our scikit-learn pipelines like to have things always in 2D arrays, which is what this reshape does. So let's just run this, okay? And you'll be able to see when you do your one hot, it will be a two-dimensional array. Where uh, compared with Y, where now the um, particular uh, label here refers to um, which column has a one and which column has a zero, as you can see. Okay. So now let's um, try to verify that this, this works as expected. Um, and I'm just going to copy and paste my code that I have. So firstly, let's get our prediction. Um, remembering that our output is our logits because it's our log um, softmax. Right? So I've defined there. So PyTorch likes using, oh, the, the standard convention is to use the negative log likelihood loss um, to do this. So we need to um, change this to our uh, prediction. So this is this is a way to do it. And let's verify that the output is what we expect. So the model, PyTorch Lightning model. So um, firstly, let's just go and have a look at what the output is without all the fancy stuff around it. So that's our output, and let's have a look at what happens when we throw in our softmax. So uh, that's what our softmax looks like. It will be an output of probabilities. Um, we can compare this with predict proba from scikit-learn, which looks something like this. You can see that there's a little bit of difference there. And um, let's go ahead and do our prediction, ypred, and then let's go ahead and look at our performance. Oops. So let's put this one first. All right, that's our log loss, and let's see what's going on here. I think there's an extra comma that shouldn't be there. No. Okay. And then let's run a arg max happens in our argmax 42, so I probably need 8 axes equals 0, 1. Okay, 150, there we go. So if we want argmax over the um, over each row, and then hopefully this will yield our accuracy result. So 0 0.89333. So this doesn't look like it does, it does as well, but that's okay for now. Um, and there are particular reasons which we can think about and talk about from a, a theoretical standpoint why this didn't do, do as well. Uh, but I'll leave that for another day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this whole thing. Uh, I'm going to run the top bit and the bottom bit just so that we have a point of comparison between the two. And we can have a look at the numbers again. So this is our SK learn. And this is our PyTorch. Let's 
analysis prints all the statistics. So where we go, scikit-learn 0.9666 on 0.97, log loss, that number, the tor um, the PyTorch log loss is actually a bit higher and our accuracy number is very off, which makes me wonder if I've done something wrong. Well, let's have a very quick look. Oh, it's because I've mislabeled it. So this is actually accuracy, this is a log loss and let's move things around so that they are Correct. Yep. So as you can see, um, the log loss for torch is actually lower, but the accuracy is is um, lower than the accuracy that we would like. So it looks like it is optimizing something, but maybe not what we want exactly. So that's the very first lesson on PyTorch Lightning and how you can build your classifier. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how you can extend this model that we've built by adding more layers and hopefully we can uh, improve this performance a little bit um, even though we may be overfitting.